Good, Good morning, morning Northwest. Northwest. I'm Brady Holiday. And I'm Michaela Malinowski. And you're watching this week's episode of Cougar Roundup. We're supposed to say it together. Oh, my bad. Well, let's just try it again. <clears throat> and you're watching this week's episode of Cougar, Cougar Roundup. Roundup. Do you have any plants? The ones I might have succulent, but it died because I overwatered it. Bummer. Well, maybe you could try again and get a new plant at the plant sale. Maybe you're right. Nevaeh and Ben captured the selection. Recently at Northwest, the environmental ed students have started their annual plant sale. Let's take a sneak peek into the greenhouse. Um, it helped us raise money to keep the uh, animals alive up in the environmental ed room and just like to help the science program and all that good stuff. But it's just a fun way for us to get involved and like show our work from like over the past like semester of like us growing these plants. It, it takes up a lot of our class time. Uh, some days we'll just come out here like on block days and plant stuff or organize or whatever. I love just seeing everybody come in with their families and like being like, oh my goodness, this is what you guys have been working on since like the beginning of the semester. So that's been pretty cool. The plant sale will be continuing throughout the week. Make sure to check out the plants. Plants aren't really my thing. I wish there was another garage sale where you could get other stuff too. There is. Stuco sponsors it. Tanner, Keith, and Juice were there to see what was all for sale. The annual Student Council Garage Sale is a fun fundraiser to help Stuco raise money and give back to the community around Northwest. So at the garage sale, I'm kind of the, what's called, chair of it. So I kind of organize everything with the help of Miss Dent and the uh, other chairs of the event. So we organize everything from the pickups to the people bringing stuff here. Here we get a lot of um, knick-knacky stuff, um, so if you're a person that likes to look around and look for stuff for your kitchen or your um, living room and that kind of stuff, we get a lot of stuff like that, but we have a bunch of clothes, and if you're willing to look, you can find some really nice things. There's a lot of work that goes into this event. We've had people been dropping stuff off for probably almost around two months now, and we put it downstairs in this uh, big room. The one thing that's really nice about this garage, though, is that nothing that comes in costs the Stuco anything. So everything is donated for the garage sale. They don't actually have to go out and buy anything or spend money. So it literally is a win-win situation. People get to empty their closets, and the Stuco um, group gets to sell it and get rid of it and bring in some money for Stuco. Next year, just show out to the garage sale. There's a lot of a lot of good stuff, clothes, Northwest stuff, anything pretty much you can think of. We probably have. Track isn't only running; it's track and field. Let's give the throwers some recognition. What's a thrower? Exactly. Lucas, Emma, and I caught up with the throwers. Varsity thrower Luke Dent filled us in on what we saw at last week's track and field meet. This meet went pretty well overall. Um, of the six teams there, we got third place for our boys and fourth for our girls. This week, we only had two varsity throwers, myself and Evan Qualls. He throws for Javelin and um, uh, he jumps as well. But um, we have a third varsity thrower, Chris Marie Leon. Uh, she was sick the whole day. She wasn't at school. But we don't have many varsity throwers this year because, I mean, some of the milestones that our coaches set are pretty high, so they have high expectations for varsity athletes. Our overall score did not prove or did not improve entirely. Like at districts two weeks ago, we had guys varsity first and girls varsity second, and this week it was third and fourth. But our overall um, entire team score improved, and um, we also had plenty of PRs. I can't wait to see what the throwers and the rest of the track team do for the rest of the season. Now back to the studio. Well, that's all we have for this week. Make sure to watch next week's episode of Cougar Roundup. Roundup.